Matt Turner, US men's national team goalkeeper, number two here at Arsenal on the bench for what was a fantastic win. I don't know what to ask you about first, Arsenal <laughs> or the World Cup? I'm going to go World Cup. Your reflections as you stand here a few weeks on. This man said that you guys did USA proud. How do you feel, Matt? Yeah, I feel the same for sure. I feel like we did did US really, really proud. Um, I think within the locker room, within the dressing room, we feel we, we had a bit more in the tank as well. So I think it bodes well for the future. And now, you know, you have a bunch of young guys with one World Cup under their belts. Three and a half years and counting to go, Tim. Absolutely brilliant, yeah. And, and it was it was a joy to watch as a former U.S. goalkeeper to watch you. I was a fan. I was throwing beers up and cheering <laughs> for you. So, yeah, it was. It was impressive. When we talk about Arsenal, you've been here now for a little while. You've started to settle in. There's a real belief in this squad that you can maybe go do this thing. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think you see it. Um, we, we trust the process. We trust continually continually doing the, the little things right. And I think that that showed tonight especially in the first half we couldn't get the goal but we kept doing the same things consistently throughout the match and uh and we really believe in what we're doing so um it goes out and we score goals and and we win games fantastic matt do you feel in the dressing room do you get the sense that the players feel that something special is happening at the club this season yeah, I'd say I, we're taking things one game at a time. I don't think we're looking too far in the future, and I think that's something that we really emphasize is just taking things one game at a time. We're climbing a mountain, and um, and if you look too far ahead, uh, you might get a little discouraged. So um, control what you can and just keep, keep ticking the boxes along the way. How have things changed, obviously, with the World Cup coming up? Some players were training, some were away, some have all got together. How's it all come together and we get that kind of performance tonight? Yeah, I think we relied a lot on our academy as well. Uh, U23, U21 guys, you know, training with us, keeping the standards high, uh, being able to rely, and then, and then, you know, having competitive, friendly matches, uh, winning those games, scoring goals, and, um, you know, just keeping, keeping the intensity high throughout the training sessions. And I think you saw once the guys came back from the World Cup, um, it was kind of sink or swim. Uh, uh, the guys that weren't playing were really firing on, on all cylinders. And for us, you know, we had to come back in and get in the swing yeah. of things fast or else you're going to get left behind. So I think that's the, the culture of training that we have. And that led to the performance tonight. Matt, the first half was frustrating for you guys having to watch that and just couldn't get through West Ham. So what did you say at halftime, Mikel Teta? I think the message was what I, what I mentioned earlier, you know, it wasn't a lot of frustration. It was, you know, keep doing the little things well keep trusting that what you're doing is the right thing and and uh, the results will happen the goals will come and and we did that and, and they came so that's more trust and i'm right in saying you've become a dad in the last six months that's right yeah i just had first christmas yeah oh that's wonderful so at least you got some sleep at the world cup yeah that's right that's right yeah well, I know. listen congratulations little girl little boy little boy oh well yeah. congratulations on thank that you. and a Appreciate wonderful it. world cup thank as you, well thank you. and thank you so much for joining us on yeah no problem thanks for having me on yeah. brilliant Proud stuff you. matt yeah. turner arsenal's number two you USA's number one. Thank you so much. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.